Good morning and welcome to an introduction to TikTok and Reels for Business. We're going to have a bit of a talk about this. Uh, a couple of the technology things I'm trying to put together this morning are not quite working out for me. I'm working from a motel room in Alice Springs and it is really cold. So excuse me for the dressing down and having to uh, put on all this. It's uh, not something I'm used to being from Darwin where it's uh, just a probably around about 21 degrees already, but here in Alice Springs is about nine and that's not something I'm used to. So we'll get underway and I'll show you a whole world of how you can get involved and I guess some approaches too for your particular business when it comes to TikTok and Reels. I'm gonna share my screen and get us underway as soon as I can get this presentation on there. Let's see if it works. Um, I've gone there and we go sharing in three, two, one. Hey, look at that. We've got it going. My name is Dante St. James. Let's get underway. Now, I had this quote come up. It's called, don't be afraid to be the full package. It's a really popular quote through TikTokers and Instagram reelers as well. And I think it's really cool because it's basically saying, you know, don't be afraid to just put yourself out there and be the full package of you and your business as well. And to just do something that's a little bit different, a little bit more wild maybe, or just simply just bring in something new that adds a different dimension to what you're already doing. What we're going to look at today is uh, introducing TikTok, introducing Instagram Reels, having a look at how they fit, and most importantly, looking at what your approach may be if you want to add it in. I've got an example of how I've been able to add it into my life. Um, I didn't think I'd have much room for TikTok and Instagram Reels, but, but it found a, a certain approach that certainly works for me and might even be something that works for you as well. When it comes to using the features, though, I'm trying to get it so I can... Um, a screen share my phone onto the screen here to go through Zoom. Um, so far, I've had no luck doing that whatsoever this morning, but I, I'm going to give it a try and see if it works. And if it does work, fantastic. If it doesn't, then we might have to um, settle for just having a bit of a chat about how to use things for your particular business and looking if we can use of, uh, you know, some ways to approach talk and really to see if which you may be able to specifically do. We've got a few people on the call this morning. So hopefully we can cover a few different scenarios. This is brought to you by Business Station and the Australian Small Business Advisory Services Digital Solutions Program, Regional Development Australia, Brisbane in Queensland, Business Station in WA, and brought to you by Treaty Business Consulting in the Northern Territory, where I happen to be right now. A little bit about me, uh, my own business click starter and a several other, uh, uh, I've got a couple of other um, training businesses that I do as well as a uh, two e-commerce businesses that I take part in. Um, but I also work with the new business assistance with NICE program for the federal government and that's just in the Northern Territory. Um, Google's digital springboard program, Treaty Business Consulting as a digital consultant, Facebook Australia as a trainer and for my own training company, which is uh, DanteStJames.com. So let's have a look at TikTok. TikTok has come from almost nowhere in the last few years to become this massive phenomenon. And it's all about being, I guess, a bite-sized alternative to YouTube. So whereas YouTube is tending to be longer form video, like more like your, um, I guess, the, the something that's above 10 minutes. YouTube doesn't monetize video until it gets beyond that 10 minute level. So if you're looking at 10 minute video, that's what YouTube is. But if you're looking at 10 seconds, maybe you have to 60 seconds of video, that's more what TikTok is. It's, it's capitalizing on trend for very short, very sharp, very entertaining and very engaging video that is quite short as far as length. And it's full of all sorts of filters you can add to it, lots of different cameras camera effects like zooming in on faces, super zooming in uh, to objects. Um, it could be music, which is a massive feature of this. In fact, it's tied in with Apple Music. They've done an amazing deal in TikTok and be able to access all popular music from past and present. So you can add lots of music. And that's really been where it's come from. Um, when it was first sort of in uh, America, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the Western world, I guess, as, a, as an app called Musical.ly, it was all about miming along to your favorite songs. Um, and they were usually real songs that everyone knew about, not just some sort of stock production music. Then TikTok came along, put its own version in uh, China, where TikTok's from. So they rebranded as TikTok for the Western world and then took all the best parts of their Chinese app and made it into the Western app. And that's what we call TikTok today. And it's just this amazing um, way that we've been able to 
we've been able to to tie in i guess popular music with popular trends and memes and then also in some cases be able to bring that across to our business as well um there's a few things i want to sort of um snap, uh, nip in the bud when it comes to some business approaches though when it comes to TikTok and reels so face zoom is probably one of the most popular um little uh effects that you can use for camera effects on TikTok. so hopefully this will work um and i'm not sure the uh the volume will come through but i will turn it up so that hopefully it can pick it up through the microphone let's see if this works so that's a, an example for instance where they're using the face zoom which is um it's going to choose a face out of the two faces of the ones to zoom into and the, and the challenge there was that whoever it faces in on had to buy the other person an iPhone 11, which I guess young fella is going to be a bit of debt. So fun little things like that are allowing us to do all sorts of very different um, games, I guess, and challenges when it comes to TikTok and Reels, in fact, which Reels has much the same features as TikTok as well. So let's uh, look at some of the other things you can do. Now, adding music, there's a music adding area. So once you're into creating a TikTok, you can add popular music or production music. Quite often what I'll do, I'll pick music that's either from the era that I grew up in because you know that's what's important to me and it's relevant to me as a person. But some people choose very popular music right now. And if you go to discover and into trending, as you can see on the screen, you can see certain things that are starting to, uh, I guess, trend right now. Now, the trending music doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually hot music in the charts right now, if there's even such a thing charts any of these. Uh, music that's from really old songs. So there's, uh, we've had cases where Frank Sinatra has been trending. We've had um, cases where music from the 80s has been trending. So there's, um, especially, I think most recently, one that trended really hell was uh, really well was um, uh, I Need a Hero, which I think is Bonnie Tyler for some reason. Um, that really did well. Um, also, the Kids in America um, from Kim Wilde. I think I'm getting this right, uh, as a person who also trended really recently. So these are not necessarily new songs. They're just something that happens to gain momentum when it comes to adding songs to different TikToks. And then, of course, you can search for a whole lot of other sounds. If you've got a song, for instance, we heard, we heard the village people. Now, the village people might be something you were searching for if it's appropriate for the kind of video you're doing. Hey, go and look for that as well. If you're looking for Celine Dion, it's going to be in there as well. So you can then form your favorites around the kind of sounds that you'd like to use a lot. So if you're doing a series where you want to use the same music every time, you can do that. If you want to search for a very specific theme, like for instance, um, quite often I'm doing things when I'm flying. So I like to choose things about flight or being up high or something like that. And so with that, I'll look for a word such as fly or airplane or something like that that's going to tie into the theme that I'm following in the actual TikTok or the, the Instagram reel itself. One thing you can do a lot of is interacting on TikTok and most of the interaction comes in the form of following, I suppose, where you can see... Excuse me, I've actually got a really sore throat this morning. So if I keep sipping on water, it's because I'm just trying to keep lubricating my throat to, try, um, to make it survive a little bit longer today. Now, when it comes to the uh, interactions, um, yeah, following is probably the number one thing you'll do. You'll for we'll form a feed on, on TikTok, just like you do on Facebook or Instagram or any other app like that. And it allows you then to be able to carry through, um, I guess, uh, stuff that appeals to you. So the TikTok algorithm is very much about what you're watching, what you're interested in on the program. So very much like Facebook, um, where if you show interest and engagement on a particular uh, post, then that forms more of what you're gonna see in the feed. So TikTok, exactly the same. You're gonna see a lot more stuff in the feed from the stuff that you've actually shown some interest in, which is, I guess, a really clever way of um, increasing engagement and making sure you're not seeing things that you're not necessarily interested in. Now, what those things are that you show interest in aren't necessarily profiles or not necessarily themes. They could be just songs. So for instance, you might be, you might have just interacted with something from, let's just say the village people again. 
it will show you more stuff that has village people music in it. So that's showing as one of the vari variations of interest. What it will do and what TikTok is very, very good at is showing you more stuff that's local. So if you're in, um, in Sydney, you're gonna see a lot more stuff from Sydney or more specifically, if you're in Australia, you're gonna see a lot more stuff in your feed from Australia. So it gives you the chance to follow, comment, like, all those different things. And you can even save favorites for later on. So you can view those things again. And I've got um, my last mate, he collects literally thousands of favorites. So he could very quickly just flick through and look for the things that he remembered that he wants to share again to someone say in a, a Facebook messenger. And that's one thing you can do as well is be able to share your TikToks that you see with other people in other platforms. So you can post them into Facebook, into Instagram. Although I will warn you on one thing, Facebook and Instagram obviously don't want you sharing stuff from other platforms too heavily in their platforms. In the same way that um, the, the TikTok prefers if you don't share an Instagram reel into their platform. So the idea is that you um, maybe use it if you want to show someone something. But when it comes to putting it on your feed, it's not going to help you to get particularly good numbers in your Facebook or your Instagram feed. It won't be noticed anywhere near as much. And I've done that before where I've, excuse me, where I've shared um, the uh, an Instagram reel into TikTok and it hasn't translated well. And I've shared TikToks into Instagram and it hasn't translated well. The things that do best is when I share a TikTok into TikTok or an Instagram reel into Instagram reels. Now, apart from interaction, there's a bunch of other things you can do on the discover screen. You can look at things that are trending. So this could be um, particular hashtags that are trending, particular accounts that are trending and particular themes that are trending. In there, you'll also find a link to the particular songs that appear to be trending. And yeah, there are actually songs that have become hits simply because they blew up on TikTok. So it's um, a definite place for discovering new kinds of music. You can interact with people's profiles. For instance, you can um, share a profile through to Instagram, bookmark a profile for later. You can edit your own profile to contain any information you want to have on there. And your own profile is then going to show you um, who you are, like how many you're following and you can see your list. You can see who your followers are and then how many likes there have been to your profile as well. Um, there's little QR code-ish kind of things that allow you to share your TikTok profile via QR code as well. And of course, every profile comes with an inbox. So people can message you directly. You can message other people directly. Um, quite often in my inbox, I tend to get a lot of um, notifications from the app itself telling me that certain people I follow gone and you can go live and live stream on TikTok as well. So what is the kind of stuff that gets done on TikTok? Quite often it's in the form of things like we'll call video challenges and different video effects. Now, hopefully this is going to work as well and we'll get a bit of music in the background. So it's only showing a little bit of the screen there, but what it was that basically using stop motion to create an effect where the guy goes from one step to the next on his way to a vacation by tucking himself into his own suitcase. So those kind of effects can be used. Stop motion is really effective. Um, other things like, I guess, some um, you might have seen things where people uh, will go up to the screen, put their hand in front of the camera, and they or they'll snap their fingers and they'll go from being dressed one way into being dressed another way. That's just simply by stitching together two separate pieces of video. So they take one one piece of video and that they end up that they snap and they have their hand in one position and then they have to basically put their hand back into that position again in that exact spot and then they all change into something different so we see a lot of drag queens doing that when they're changing from um, being a guy to being a, a drag queen you see a lot of it from girls who are going from you know basically i woke up like this messy hair and no makeup to fully made up and in a formal outfit and then you see a lot, a lot with guys who are going from like dressing sloppy to being you know gym bunny with big bulking bodies and all that sort of thing. So those kind of things do create a lot of engagement simply because they're very sudden. They're very, um, they're not exactly unexpected. We know what those kind of reveal photos and videos are really like, but they give you the, opinion, the, the option to be able to surprise and I guess delight people. And that's essentially what uh, engagement is. It's to, to get attention so you can surprise and delight people was something you weren't necessarily expecting on the way. 
And some of the other things that we love are duets. So for instance, this is the video from someone uh, taking the mickey out of celebrities joining TikTok and the idea that celebrities are boomers and generation X's like myself who <laughs> don't have any idea how to use these particular tools. And they sort of play up. And the guy on the left is sort of, um, is, he's doing a duet. So he's got the original video and now what he's doing is doing his um, miming to that video at the same time. So uh, have a look at this. Hey everybody. Hey, I'm on TikTok now. How do you use this thing? <laughs> Y'all got to teach me how to use this thing in the next vid. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't get the humor. I think the humor is all just around the fact that um that that people don't know how to use it and they're sort of talking very awkwardly on a video and then they discover an effect or a feature like the repeating yourself um, feature and then they just like get stuck on it and it's the one thing they do. So I guess it's just a case of, you know, finding the thing that really works for you as far as, you know, the kind of humor you're looking for. But just because there's humor in there doesn't mean you have to be funny. It's not actually necessarily anything to do with you specifically being funny. Um, if you want to try other things, there's also, I guess, a whole bunch of other themes you'll start to see. Hopefully this is going to start to work. Here we go. So there's um, different things like the cringe. So this is where you do something which is so cringeworthy. So it could be, um, you know, the owner of the business standing up in front of a camera and just doing a very awkward dance in front of a video. Um, how that actually helps your business, I don't really know. But I guess it's all part of branding, isn't it? Cringe work, cringe videos are quite popular because they're kind of like the whole, it's like a train accident. You, you, you don't want to look at it, but you can't look away at the same time. And that's the whole point behind cringe is that you don't, it's a really stupid video that doesn't make much sense, but for some reason it's amusing enough that you can't seem to look away from it. Reaction videos are very, very popular in that they are used for, for instance, someone else has already done something, so you can do it as a, as a duet like before so on one screen you've got the original thing where you watched somebody do something and then there's your crazy reaction to something something that's probably really easy for businesses to do is an unboxing so for instance um, i did an unboxing at my birthday <laughs> on a video which is me unboxing my birthday cake which was basically a, a family-sized apple pie from yattler pies in brisbane um with a like cream with fresh cream in it and it was so beautiful so tasty and so it looked so good that i sort of unboxed it lift the lid and said this is my birthday birthday cake and they got lots of views because it was something a little bit different and let's face it who doesn't like some food unboxing is also good for when for instance you are getting new products in um some like some of the most watched videos in the world are kids unboxing new toys or it could be reviewers unboxing new phones so it's all those kind of things where people go yeah, here's something unboxing here's what it's got to do recently i saw a plumber in darwin who actually unboxed a gigantic pump and this is a pump which they only get them in maybe once a year and it's quite exciting when it comes in for them because that's something which they deal with a lot now for someone watching that from the outside I don't know if that'd be much interest to them, but for those who are plumbers and work with pumps, seeing one of these pop up, which is like you know, a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar pump, is actually quite exciting. So they'll see that come up and they'll unbox it and actually literally show opening the box to get inside to look at this fantastic piece of engineering, and then. Finally, there's skills. Now, skills are basically where people who do parkour and jumping around buildings and all that sort of thing, or gymnasts are doing their gymnastics, or people who are very good at bouncing soccer balls between their feet and their, their face and their body and all that, they're showing their skills to music usually. And these are really fascinating because because like who isn't impressed by a circus act, right? If we're gonna see someone who's got incredible physical skills, why wouldn't we wanna watch them? But the same thing goes for life skills, um, which is a hashtag which is very put, uh, very very well followed called How to Adult, um, which is all about adult skills. So it could be something to folding fitted sheets. And just on the side there, if you know how to fold fitted sheets, you are a sorcerer and you probably need to be burned at the stake. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's just one of those things where people are very impressed by that. And in fact, it was a TikTok video that I once watched once before which actually got me to fold my underwear differently and my towels differently into a much neater sort of package, which means they sit better in my wardrobe and it looks so neat and tidy. I feel like such a holly homemaker when it comes to these. And it's all because I saw this video on TikTok of how to fold underwear and how to fold tiles. And it's, um, I think she's called the folding lady. So if you want to follow someone on TikTok who gives you very, very satisfying um, 
videos of, of, of how to do that sort of stuff, then you're going to absolutely going to love the folding lady. So skills um, can be used not just for a personal skill, but they could be a business skill. If you're a graphic designer, you can have a camera focusing on your screen and you can do like a time-lapse video of you going through the process of doing a design, building a website, much the same thing. In fact, I created a website time-lapse that I've used, I think it was on Facebook quite a few maybe two years ago, which was a four hour session of me building a basic website and it was hyperlapsed so that I could go through the whole process from start to actually delivering the website. And that was showing a particular business skill. So it could be the same, if you cake decorator, show the process. If you're a, um, a gardener, you can show the process of how you very quickly get things done that most people take a while to do. People are very impressed by this sort of stuff. And this is the kind of thing you can put on things like TikTok and Instagram Reels. And as an introduction to Instagram Reels, this is, yes, obviously a part of Instagram. Um, if you're using um, your phone to look at where Instagram Reels is now, if you open up the Instagram app, you'll be able to then very quickly see that um, at the bottom, in the middle, there's an icon and that's the Instagram Reels. And when it gets you in there to the Instagram Reels, well, then you go, okay, now I can see where the Reels are and I can then create one myself from the top right-hand corner where there's a little camera button. So you can then start to create your very own Instagram Reels. Other than that, if you're just getting in there for the first time just to watch Reels, you'll probably notice that if you use both Reels and TikTok, they're very much the same as each other because essentially Instagram copied the whole idea of Reels from TikTok. Short format videos going for no more than 60 seconds, or I think they're 30 seconds in the case of Reels now. Um, but the idea is that you have lots of different... Um, creative processes you can go through. You can add music from the music library. It doesn't contain quite as much music as you would get from TikTok. And one other thing too, excuse me as I um, lubricate my throat again, starting to get a bit croaky. Um, in the case of where you're doing an Instagram reel, um, you've got to make sure you have either a personal account on reels or a creator account on reels to use popular licensed music. If you are someone who's just doing, um, if you're using a business account on Instagram, you won't be able to use popular charting music. You'll actually only be able to use um, the stock music that's supplied as part of this. So when the stock music comes into it, that's going to, um, it doesn't obviously give you that, that viral effect of what following particular songs and themes of those songs would be. So the way to run that is to change your business account to a creator account. And you can do that in your Instagram account settings and make that change from business back to creator. And that gives you the option to use popular music again. Though it does have other flow and problems with advertising and certain other things, but um, you should be able to write, like for instance, I run ads, I can run ads through Facebook that still go to my Facebook creator, uh, my Instagram creator account. So that's still no problem, but there are certain things that it won't allow you to do. It will still give you some insights. It'll still give you that, but there's some extended business insights that you won't get when you go back to a creator account. So it depends on what's more important to you, the business integrations or the access to the cool music. So I'm actually not going to go into Instagram that much because everything that we saw in TikTok is pretty much available on Instagram Reels as well. Now, which one's the biggest of the two? Instagram is a bigger app in general. It's got a lot more users. So we're looking at just over a billion users. Uh, TikTok is around about that. Well, that depends on who you ask. So TikTok does not give any official answers to how many people are on it. But we do know that about 80 million people in the US are on it. And if I do a quick Google to say how many people are on TikTok, um, we get a basic number of around about, well, saying 680 million active users, and we estimate that it's increased to about 1.1 billion now. So it's growing really fast, but it's still behind Instagram, um, but it's catching up really, really quickly. Um, Instagram Reels usage, however, is very much going to be very far behind. In fact, Instagram don't even break that number out. They just look at the amount of people they have on the platform as a whole. Whole. So one of the things that you can look at, I guess, when it comes to Instagram is that you may not be able to afford to ignore the short form video trend because it is so popular that even one app in the form of TikTok is so popular that 
it's very hard to ignore the fact that it's there. So you kind of need to do something over there. But does it fit? Now, if you're the kind of person who you're not really committed to social media already, you're not going to want to commit to short form video because it does take longer to put together than what it just does with writing a post on LinkedIn or with um, posting out a Canva graphic on, on, on Facebook. So if you're struggling a lot with social media, short form video is something which you will struggle more with. I'm not going to mince words with this one. You will struggle a lot more with it because it does take a bit more commitment. If you have trouble finding time for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all that, you're probably not going to find time for short form video. Short form video is going to take you time to, I guess, you know, that, that when you think get that creative block and you don't quite know, excuse me as I um, have a drink, if you don't really know how to find the time to create basic uh, graphics on Canva, you're probably not going to find time to find um, a way of creating videos on, on, on TikTok or on Instagram Reels either. So the whole point of, I guess, short form video is you need to be very, very intentional about it. You need to be able to go and create time for it. Otherwise, you've got to find a way of doing a different approach. And with these approaches, I'll just mute myself while I sneeze. There we go, got that out of the way. <laughs> okay, so if you, um, your different approaches are, you have to make room for these kind of things. Make room for short form video, or you have to add short form video to something you're already doing. So for instance, you may already be doing uh, certain activities in your life, maybe sport, a hobby, it could be your work, and it's bringing video into that part of your life. And this could be a lesson for all kinds of social media, really. You've either got to make time to do it, or you've got to add video into the things you're already doing at the time. Is basically, you've just got to make time. So you're going to say, I've got to put aside maybe, you know, 30 minutes per week to create short form video. Now, this is probably the, the most um, obvious thing that most people would look at. They go, okay, I've just got to do my social media time. I've got to do my video time. Okay, quick, everyone in the office, quick hop up. We're going to do a dance to the village people and we're going to do the YMCA uh, in front of the reception desk with our logo on a pull-up banner behind it. And, and, and trying to get everyone together, it took you about half an hour to get everyone together. You did about three or four takes. The whole thing was very cringeworthy. And you go, okay, I've done that. We're done. Okay, so what are you going to do next week? Is there something you can do next week? Is it possible for you to be able to do this every single week without being sort of, you know, having to take so much time out of work and embarrassing everyone to the point where people start complaining that they're doing it because they don't want to do this at all? So do you do that? Or do you take the second approach, which is adding video in to something you're already doing, something you already do every day it could be for instance you make breakfast um in a certain way you've got a certain routine you make breakfast and then you notice one day you went i wonder if other people do this and then you add in you go okay so when you're making your wheat bix do you just put wheat bix in a bowl and add milk or do you soften your wheat bix with hot water first and then create sort of like a porridgey kind of mix which is what i do when i make my wheat bix in the morning I didn't realize that was actually a weird thing that most people don't actually do. That I soften mine up with boiling water from the kettle first, then I add the milk, then I add honey on the top. And then I went, well, actually, I actually do a certain shape of honey. I do a spiral of honey on top of the wheat bix. And I just realized that was actually something that not many people actually ever do. So I could add that in. But from a business point of view, one thing I do, for instance, is I travel a lot for work. So <clears throat> the one easy way for me to to be able to add in video to what I was doing is to add video to flying around for work and, and going to the places that I go to. So examples of how I did that would be, for instance, um, like a lot of different view is for um, me doing my flights. Now I flew down from Darwin to Alice Springs yesterday. So I got into in the evening into Alice Springs and it was this now look video. At this. So what that was, was me taking video into something I'm already doing. I make sure now that I always get, you know, get a, um, 
a, a, a window seat so I can do these, so I can take people on a journey through the the world that I do on, on Instagram and on TikTok as well. So that particular one is on TikTok. Um, then another thing I did uh, was two weeks ago when I was in Broome, I was working in Broome and I had to work remotely and I couldn't find a place to work from. I made this little TikTok, which has got a, quite a lot of views on its own. So what I was doing is sharing the fact that I was working on a beach on Cable Beach in Broome um, because that was the reality. Like I was at, well, I could go and park in a park somewhere, but instead what I decided to do was park right here so that I could go, okay, this is what I actually did. I worked from a beach and worked there for about two hours with that incredible view in the back of a, of a four wheel drive. And I had really good mobile reception. So that was a way of me going, okay, so in order for me to be able to do some TikTok and in order for me to be able to do some Instagram reels, I really do need to um, create a way of bringing video into something that I'm already doing. So that particular video was just simply took me probably one minute to go, okay, shine a light on, you know, the fact that I've got a coffee here, I've got my computer here. You can tell I'm in the back of a car, swinging around then to the beach to show the, con the, 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 the context that I was in. So it's not a matter of, I guess, making time for that because it only really took a minute to do it. And then I just looked for some music that said work in it. And that's what I wanted to do to show that I was doing some work. And the same thing with the filming of the, um, the, the flight is that I took about 32 different shots from the time I took off to the time we led to say, okay, to show different stages of the journey through there. So you can see that I was going somewhere. And some of them I've done were flying from day into night, or, which is why I choose night and day, which is the uh, name, or day and night, which is the name of that particular song, to be able to transfer through that. So that's, you know, I'm very lucky I get to travel, so it's very easy to be able to draw those in. But you would think, well, how long did it take me to put together that one? Well, every 15 to 20 minutes, I'd open my window, film a little bit out the window, put my phone back down and get back to watching something on it. Um, but then you'd find that people would be, um, <clears throat> the guy next to me was like quite fascinated by why I was making all these recordings right throughout the flight. Then I actually showed him when I was sitting next to him is this is the reason why I do it. I make a TikTok or I make an Instagram reel. Well, just not sure where I'm going. And it's all done by the time I get off the flight. So I'd actually, by the time we actually landed, I then put it through, select the videos I want to glue together. And then TikTok gives you the option to beat match the music with your videos. So when you've got lots of videos that you've taken, so I took um, like 32, 10 to 15 second videos that get jammed together into that one production and it times it in time of the music. Then I just load it up and before I've even got out of my seat to get off the flight, I've just had an Instagram reel and a TikTok posted and I'm able to move on with my day. It has cost me no real time apart from sitting there in times when I've got nothing to do but sit and wait to get off a flight. So what do you do that actually gives you time to do things like this. It could be waiting in line for a coffee. It could be photocopying at the photocopier. It could be the things that you do when you're going through your computer to get started work in the morning. It could be the way that you make your wheat bix It's bringing in video to a time which normally doesn't have a lot going on with it. So it's time when you're not necessarily in a position to be, um, you know, to it's things that you do almost automatically. So how does that tie in for business? And what are some ideas that you could possibly use? Now, if you wouldn't mind it, if those of you who are participating right now can uh, give us a bit of an idea about what it is you do, and I'll be I'd like to throw back some ideas of what we could do for you in terms of you know the kinds of um, I guess the kinds of uh, uh, different TikToks or different short form video you may be able to pull off. So I know we've got right now uh, landscape design. So um, landscape design is probably something that's a great candidate for this simply because it allows you to show a journey through something. So even if you're just trying to, um, 
I guess if you're doing a planting of, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a new landscaping setup at a new home, then you would show, okay, here's the process of, you know, quickly taking a shot of 10 seconds of what the garden looks like before, and then 10 seconds at each point where, for instance, you've dug up the garden, then 10 seconds where you're lined up where things are going to go, 10 seconds where you're actually planting things in there, 10 seconds where they're all planted, and then 10 seconds where the actual thing's all finished. Now, it's just a matter of making sure you're bringing it into things you're already doing. Don't try and set aside special time just to do a TikTok because we're not trying to be influencers here. We're trying to be um, <clears throat> we're trying to be business owners. So it's not realistic for us to go, I need to set aside two hours to make a high production value thing to put on TikTok because it is absolutely exhausting to do it. And I know the influencers who do this kind of thing, they really, really struggle with it. So I'm just gonna turn my video so you can see I'm still here. Hi. And then um and then move on to some other ideas. So we've got our Joanne who's saying pregnancy and breastfeeding active in the swimwear label. Any ideas? So I suppose for yours, Joanne, there are going to be a lot of unboxing. You're going to get some um, some stuff that's going to come in that you want to show off to people about what it is. So it could be for the unboxing, the try-ons, um, the process of you designing if you're doing any design. So or it could be where you are looking for inspiration. So you've got a camera just on your screen as you're going through looking for inspiration and ideas. Or it could be, for instance, where you're going um, and buying stuff online for yourself um, through your own website. So you can give people an idea, a demo on how you how to use your website to buy things. Sorry, as I said earlier, I've got a very sore throat today. So it keeps getting very, very fatigued very, very quickly. Um, it also could be reaction videos. So you could see, um, you know, um, a, a one video of an unboxing of something and then the duet of you on the other side reacting to this amazing thing. So talking through it. So that way you're actually creating your own original video and then your own duet reacting to that unboxing as well. Um, I've got a note here from a life coach. We've always got there's always a life coach in these ones. So in the case of a life coach, so then I guess what it is is um, you looking at ideas. So the ideas of people to to improve their lives. Now you could give away every secret to what you've ever known, every truth to what you've ever learned about life coaching and psychology and all that. And no, and, and you're still not going to lose. You know, no one's going to sit there and be taking down every one of these ideas, forming into their own book and guide for life. And then, you know, not pay you for what it is you do. So I'd say in your case, Mandy, that when it comes to life coaching, then you've got an opportunity to introduce the ideas. Now, I, I forgot, um, there's um, someone called the Relationship Lab, I think it's called the Relationship Lab. And um, Rachel, her name is, she's a relationship coach. And um, she's got a really good way that she actually presents the ideas that she talks about in such a way that she's got some popular music in the background and she has like ideas pop up on screen at certain time that she kind of looks at and gestures towards and it gets, helps her put together some sort of educational stuff about the products and the services that she's offering as well. Um, some other ideas in the form of, um, who else have we got on here? I've got a few, sorry. Um, sportswear, sportswear and fashion. So yeah, when it comes to clothing and apparel, the most obvious thing to do is unboxings. Unboxings are the new products that are coming in. Um, previews of the products that are coming up. You reacting to these new trends and new things, or even taking a laugh at some of the crazy trends that are out there. So you've got the ability for anything that's physical, you can show it on screen. Then you've got this ability to be able to show people, oh, look, this is an idea that we got. This is another idea that we got. This is a um, particular a particular theme we're following. Here's me reacting to this. Here's me previewing a brand new design or a brand new color in this particular um, set of um, clothing and apparel that we've got. Jewelry is awesome for this because jewelry can do the, um, the whole idea of that. So you do a snap or if you watch my video right now where you can see my video on your screen where people go, okay, this is what it looked like now. I put my hand up to the camera and then when I remove it again, I've got a different look. So I would have, you know, for instance, I'm wearing this jumper at the moment because it's so damn cold here. And I go cover and then I come back and then I'm wearing something glamorous. So you can do those sort of things for, um, actually that's probably one for you too, Joanne, with your, um, for your active wear and your swimwear as well. So that's probably um, something you can add in there too, to show the difference between um, what can be done. Now, some ideas for creating these kind of videos is things like, um, 
using ring lights. Ring lights really help to lighten up the scene. Um, and at the moment, I think that ring lights have got these tall ones that go about a meter and a half high or something like that, or maybe, maybe even higher than that. They're like $35 at Kmart. So pick up one of those. They really help to lift your features of your face if you're talking the video, but also are very good for if you're trying to highlight any sort of fashions and that, if you've got really poor light in your room. Um, I haven't got particularly great light in this room at the moment. Um, so um, thankfully, the Zoom is helping me out with that because I'm told to lighten up my video a little bit. Um, but if you've got um, poor light, there's definitely things you can do to improve that a little bit and to make it, I guess, a little bit brighter and a little bit... Um, a, a little bit more able for you to to show your skin tone a lot better and the colors and the textures of any sort of clothing that you're using on top of that um then also when you're looking at um whoops that wasn't where i was wanting to go um if you're also looking at things like um you know, services services are a little bit harder because they're not something you can actually pick up and put in front of a screen and say this is my service it's something which is um a lot more intangible so what you're going to do is share ideas and sharing ideas can be done in okay so let's look at it as a um as uh this is me when i wake up on a monday morning really unmotivated put that in front of the camera, pull it back again. Here's me when I have my first coffee. How do you think coffee affects your day? So it's asking questions like that and making people have a think, expressing like you would do normally on anything with Facebook or Instagram, asking questions, looking for answers, posting ideas, looking for feedback, any of that kind of thing could do. And a little, um, a little tip I'm gonna give you myself um, is that I have found that when I'm posting work, TikToks, if I take that TikTok or that Instagram reel and then I download it to my phone and then post it over on LinkedIn as a regular post, I seem to get more coverage on these kind of things when I put them over onto LinkedIn than with anything else I do, even on TikTok and Instagram reels itself. Now, I'm a business to business business that's a lot of business in one sentence i think you got what i mean there i sell to businesses um so if you sell the businesses as well it might be an idea to use things like tiktok and instagram reels as your creation studio as a way to build these ideas and these interactions and add the music and all that then you can download it and put it onto something like linkedin where you're expressing um a, i guess a brighter more cheerful way of presenting something that you're up to with the work you're doing just remember though keep it to i guess the work and professional theme you don't want to be coming across as someone who's posting everything about their cat who happens to sit in their home office every day um because your cat's cute you know you think your cat's cute doesn't necessarily mean everyone else thinks your cat's cute as well but if you can do that that's an idea that allows you to express a lot more i guess about the kind of business that you are um i've got another one here for a tradie so um sorry scott you'll need to put that in the q a there what kind of trading you're actually looking at being so just so i can be really specific like carpenter so build, build a carpenter yeah okay so a builder and a carpenter in that case is going to be something which is very much around the idea of showing progress again just like the landscape gardening we we're talking about before showing the progress across what you're creating so 10 seconds at this point of the day 10 seconds at this point of the day 10 seconds at the next point of the day 10 seconds progress of what you're able to create special specifically if you know that day you're going to build something which is going to look very obviously different from start to the end and this is how i guess people who are in the position of being tradies creators makers of jewelry painters artists um dressmakers when you're building something that's very very tangible and very visible then you've got this great opportunity this fantastic opportunity to be able to show process of how you're doing without showing someone how to actually do what it is you're doing unless you want to educate people on how that works and what you're doing but if you're just simply just trying to show this is the creative process i kind of go from from starting here to ending over here then you'll be able to go well this is how i do it this is the process it takes it takes a long time to do this particular thing so i want to make sure that you can see the process we go through and how we show what our progress is um, I think if you're making anything, you're physically doing something, I think it's an ideal opportunity just to grab out that phone, 10 seconds, record that video, 
get to the end of the day when you're sitting just before you get in the car, just jam it all together into a TikTok or an Instagram reel, throw some music behind it, and you've got your idea ready to go there. Now, the good thing about Instagram reels is that it will also post your reel, not just to reels, but to the feed of Instagram as well, and allows you to share your reels into Facebook. Or you can take the video that you made in reels and just load it straight up in the Facebook as a native Facebook video as well. It goes particularly well in stories. If you can keep your content under 60 seconds, then you're able to create a really good Facebook and Instagram story as well as a reel because everything which you're doing on a um, on a phone uh, for these videos anyway is in this format, not that format. So you're not looking at it like that, you're looking at it like this way, the vertical way up. So it's gonna look great on stories, it's gonna look great on TikTok, it's gonna look like, and there's stories on all sorts of things now. You've got stories on LinkedIn now, you've got things called shorts, on YouTube. So the whole short form video thing is starting to become a lot more common across a lot more platforms. So you've got the ability to go from not just doing something on TikTok, but you can redo that thing on Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, Facebook Stories, YouTube Shorts, LinkedIn um, Stories, the feed on Facebook, the feed on Instagram, there's lots of different places it can go. So if you've been looking for a way, I guess, of starting to bring video into what you do, this, I guess, is the gateway for that. It's got very, very simple tools that allow you to make video and stitch bits of video together and put some noise in the background or even record a voiceover to it um, and to make things a little bit more edgy and sharp and jumpy. And the best thing you can do about short form videos like anything you do on social media, which is basically take time to have fun and experiment. Be cringeworthy. You're not gonna get it right from day one. So just take a chance, take a step, make something, and then look at it and go, mm, that's a bit cringeworthy, I'll try something else. And eventually what happens, people start to follow what you're doing. So the same thing happens with my flights. Sometimes my flights get really great response, um, when I, but it tends to be much more around the music that I'm choosing. So know that in TikTok, the music that you choose is vitally important to help you get more followers and get more reach out in the feed. And also remember that as you're traveling around too, that algorithms like Instagram Reels and TikTok are all based around where you're located physically and the country you're in. So if you're someone who's within Australia, as everyone is called is, because you're part of the ASBAS Digital Solutions Program, then you're able to do something which um, that, that's gonna be relatable to people who are from this country, then that's great. You're already halfway there to creating something that people may have some kind of interest in. Um, if you'd like to go deeper into all this and you wanna learn more about it, you can book and ASBAS Digital Solutions one-to-one -one call with any of our amazing advisors. Uh, we do know that the ASBAS Digital Solutions program is being extended um, in its current format. So this whole thing of first consult, second consult, third consult at these price points um, is being uh, extended um, until the end of July now. So it was originally the end of June, but the ASBAS program itself in a different format will be coming until the end of September next year. So it will be in a slightly different format though, and it may not be um, accessible for everybody who has accessed it through this particular way. But in the meantime though, you got to the end of the July to get it in its current format. So your first consult, if you've never had one before under your ABN, then you can connect with myself or any of the other very, very talented and very cool um, ASBAS advisor and get a session with them for an hour to learn about whatever you would like to learn about. Second consult then will be $44 and your third and any after that for $66. So are you going to do that? Or hopefully you will. You can find out more at asbas.com.au. You can email me direct, Dante at treaty.com.au, or get in touch with me through any of these particular networks Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, any of those, even on TikTok for that matter. If I get a message from me, it flashes up on my phone, I'll be able to see it, I'll be able to respond to you as well. I've just noticed we've got someone else in the chat as well. Oh, thank you, uh, Zana. Uh, really good to see that you've actually connected with someone to do your uh, WordPress work as well. So really good to know. Um, in the case of everyone else, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you to everyone else who's on the list who showed up today. I really appreciate you doing this. Oh, and actually, you can watch this on YouTube later on in the next couple of hours. I'll whack this up on YouTube so you can watch anything again that you may want to know as far as information on 
um, uh, TikTok or Instagram Reels and how you might be able to approach them as a small business. So have a great day. I'm starting to warm up a little bit here in Alice Springs. So hopefully that sun shine a bit longer and warm up, the, warm up my bones. I'm feeling very, very cold and uncomfortable right now. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.